started it now. Good afternoon and welcome to Windsor College. Uh, my name is Jamie and I'll be here to talk to you today about the art, fashion, interiors and media courses that we have here at Windsor College. Uh, so we have a range of options for you. Uh, we have some A-level courses, but also then the vocational ones, which uh, are what I suppose the majority of the students study here. And uh, what I'll do now is I'll just go through the, the, the basic information on each of those courses and then any questions you might have at the end. OK, so as you see, we've got four A levels, uh, which are mainly in sort of photography, film studies, graphics and media. And we will come on to those later. But first of all, uh, we will talk about the vocational courses. So your main difference between your A levels and your BTEC. So if you do your A levels, you will pick three subjects. OK, and that could be a range of anything. That's generally because you want to keep your options open. So you could do three creative subjects or you could do a mix. So you might want to do English literature, media studies and photography. If you want to study a creative subject, however, and you want to focus that on the industry, what a lot of our students do is they decide that this is the moment where they want to specialize. And so they commit uh, their entire program of study to their creative subject. So the BTEC that we offer is the equivalent of your three A-levels. So you don't need to study anything else. So if you were to choose the BTEC Extended Diploma in Media, you would just study Creative Media Practice. Throughout the two years, uh, you will work on professional briefs, and we try to make sure that you feel like you are part of the industry working with clients. And we will immerse you in every aspect of those productions. So you will look at the film studies part of it. So creating film from the script writing to storyboarding uh, to the actual filmmaking and then the pre and post production of it. OK, uh, through that, then we will give you various uh, skills based workshops. So we will teach you about, as we see there, single camera drama. Uh, we will look at editing techniques, sound techniques, digital photography. Um, and as you can see, we have some of the facilities there. So we have our in-house green screen. So for your special effects, uh, and we also have your recording studios. We also have um, an animator here and she will teach you a bit more about the special effects and animation. It's all designed to make you confident, creative filmmakers ready for those next steps into university or industry that you will be taught by industry professionals. So we have teachers who are still working in the industry today, and that might be working in the TV industry, uh, still working in animation, and still working in digital photography. They're still professionals, they're still working, and they're there to help you and give you links to the industry. Just a little overview of what you can expect, because obviously in normal circumstances, we would just greet you at the building. So uh, we have uh, three computer suites for you, and we run on both Windows and Mac to make sure that you're absolutely ready. We also have uh, audio booths, uh, green screen rooms, and filming studios, which you can see up in the, in the corner. Okay, so that's your media. Uh, your other option would be your straight art and design practice. Again, it'll take you through a little bit of everything over those two years to give you the skills and taste the sessions to decide what is your specialism. So you will learn the basics of visual recording, and then you will look at how to work confidently, again, to professional briefs uh, and using a range of techniques. So we'll look at the basics. You look at drawing and painting, but then you'll also look at uh, ceramics and sculpture. And we have a fully equipped studio, which is where I'm sat right now. 
You'll also look at textiles, uh, graphic design and illustration, printmaking, photography. Um, you'll also look at the digital elements required. So it is a little bit of everything. And your first year will be spent getting to grips with all the processes, with all the techniques, with all the facilities that we have. You're allowed to slowly build on your skills. So it doesn't matter if you maybe haven't studied GCSE art or GCSE media. Some, a lot of you now will be coming from schools that maybe do design and technology. It doesn't matter. So that first term, you'll have an extended induction. And what that will do is allow you to have a try of everything, find your feet before the real work starts after Christmas, where we will start to assess you on your work. We'll also look at taking you to trips. So when the world sort of reopens, we will be able to take you to galleries. Uh, and then we will also celebrate your work at the end of the year with our end of year exhibition. And here we've got just some of our studio work. Okay. So your third option, if you are still thinking about doing a full-time creative subject, would be the art and design specialism that focuses on fashion, interior design, and 3D design. So in terms of with fashion, you will work with teachers who have studied at the London College of Fashion, and they will take you from the fashion illustration to the design, to the garment making, take you right the way through the process. With the interiors, the same thing. So you'll work with professional interior designers and they will look at, uh, you will study how to design a shop front. You will look at how to design a restaurant, look at all the details involved. You will make model boxes of, of those stores. You will go into the Windsor Town Centre. You will meet some of our businesses and you will work with them and give suggestions on how you would uh, redesign their properties. With regards to the 3D design, uh, that's where we look at the larger scale prop making. So if you ever get, when you do get to visit the college, you will notice the front uh, looks like shop windows. So students get assigned their shop window where they can start to make these large scale installations. Many of our students go on from this course and go straight into the industry. So some, yes, they go to London College of Fashion. Uh, some will go to the University of Arts London. Those are the sort of the two key places. Also the London Retail Academy. Uh, and then many will go straight into the industry. And many of our students have gone on to work for Harrods, Selfridges, Harvey Nichols and Burberry. It's a very specialist course, this one, and there's not many in the country like it. So you'll see at the bottom, um, there's a little emblem of the British Display Society. So the college was given a center of excellence in this subject, because we, as I said, we are only one of four. So it is a, a rare opportunity here to really focus your passions and en energy on one specific part of art and design. If the full-time creatives aren't for you and you want a mixed programme, uh, then these are the A-levels that we have on offer. So you have your photography, graphic communications, media and film. Now, so whereas with the BTEC, you will be looking at 13 and a half hours a week of creative time and then access to the studios to complete your work. With the A-levels, you're looking at four and a half hours a week. Okay, so three hour and a half lessons. Again, they are very practical subjects. You will work with the same teachers who work in the industry and can get you ready for it. The photography is essentially a part of the fine art A-level program. So whereas you will look at how to become a successful commercial photographer, it also looks at the, the strange, the wonderful, the avant-garde and creative areas of photography. You are really are looking at photography as an art form. With graphic communications, uh, you will work with the teachers who actually also work on the fashion and interiors course, because uh, they're best suited to introduce you to that industry. So you will look at uh, fashion and store branding, okay, as the main key component of graphic communications. 
So you will work in our Mac studios and that again will take you through a very practical course and it's a new course for next year. Both photography and graphic communications, they do come with exams, but for those of you who have done a GCSE in art, it's a very similar thing. Okay, so they're what they are 15 hour exams. So you're given a topic and you have 15 hours to complete. With media and the film studies A levels, they are slightly more theoretical. So we do try to take you through as many of the practical skills as possible. So in media studies, you'll still be in the computer suites, you'll still be looking at Photoshop, you will still look at digital photography, and you will record podcasts, you will create magazine covers but you will also study the industry. So you will look at uh, how the industry functions, how they report the news, how the news is reported in a newspaper like The Sun compared to how it is reported in something like The Times. And you compare those two. A lot of our students who do media studies also are really interested in sociology. So A-level sociology and A-level media studies are a really nice pair because in sociology, you are looking at the impact media has on society and it pairs quite nicely with this subject and gives it the more creative aspect to it. With film studies, it is for those students who love their films. So if you, if you love your books, you would do A-level literature it's the same advice we would give. If you love your films and want to learn more, A-level film studies is for you. And yes, they will. your teachers will talk to you passionately about the very commercial films that you might go and see. They don't mind a Marvel film, but they will also introduce you to uh, some wonderfully weird and strange things that you will make new discoveries in. Again, you will look at the practical elements of it. So you will look at the process of filmmaking and you will be required to make your own film. So for, again, from script writing through to storyboarding, through to the filming and the post-production. But we will also prepare you for two written exams. So the A-levels are for those people who are okay at exams. They function well under that pressure compared to the BTEC, which is entirely coursework based. So that's your A-levels and that's your main BTECs. For those of you who maybe aren't gonna get the grades, there are still options for you. So the hope is that things will go well this year and you'll be coming to us to study your level three program. But if things didn't go well, we do have options for you and you can study the level two. Now, the level two that we run in these subjects is with University Arts London. So it's a highly practical course, no exams, and it is a one year introduction to the subject. So again, it's modeled very similar to your level three, and it will introduce you to digital photography, filmmaking, website design, radio, game design, and talk to you about the range of employment opportunities that there are but it will sit nicely alongside the rest of your program, which will be you resitting your GCSE Maths and your GCSE English. So it's, the course is there for those who haven't passed their GCSEs and works as a great fresh start for you. And loads of our students, once they've done that year, they stay with us and generally then progress onto the full-time level three courses. The other course that I have to talk to you about today is our level four. Now the level fours will be a long way off for you because the level four is essentially the first year of university. But a lot of our students who maybe for whatever reason don't wanna to commit to three years of university or just aren't sure and just aren't ready to make that commitment, they stay with us for another year. And the two options that we have, they can study a foundation diploma in art and design or also in creative media. Now, this again is a highly practical course and it is there for you to refine your skills. So you again will be introduced to a range of everything uh, as we have there on the table. So if you were to go down the media pathway, you would look at uh, filmmaking and cinematography and pre and post production and sound and visual communication and animation. But you are looking at it now at far greater detail and working to professional standards. 
You could also go down the art and design pathway and again, have that opportunity to develop and refine those skills and then specialize. There's also going to be opportunities next year for you to combine and introduce to new things. So the art design students can be can go to the photography workshops um, and they can also look at editorial and special effects makeup. It's there designed to get you into the industry or just to get you to your next creative college and allow students the chance to really make a firm decision about what it is they want to do. So many of our students who stay, they just need that year and it works well for them. And so at the end of level three, where they're not sure yet what their specialism will be, within those few months, we get them ready and they're off now for their university course. The great thing to bear in mind about these as well is that if you are 18 at the point of enrollment, you are still entitled to them for free. So again, a great reason why a lot of our students decide to stay at Windsor for another year. In terms of uh, university destinations, uh, all of our students get their first choice at university. And the reason for that is because we pre prepare them with their portfolios, prepare them for their interviews, and so they go to the universities of their choice and they impress. So you can see that, as you see, Adil Slim, uh, you know, getting distinction star, distinction star, distinction star. So that is your three A stars at A level. Okay. Um, and going to the University of Westminster. They go on to their universities and they do go on to the industry. Other things to tell you about college life. Uh, so we have a lot of cross college activities. Uh, when you get here, we will say hello to you and we'll start with a freshers fair, uh, which will give you all the information you need, not just about this campus, but about the other two campuses we have as well and also introduce you to local opportunities, local businesses, local offers. Uh, we also have clubs and societies for you to join, which we, you can do on Wednesday afternoons. Uh, you also have the EPQ. EPQ is your extended project qualification. So for those students who really want to stretch themselves and really want to challenge themselves, they can also take an extra qualification, which is an opportunity over the, over the year to focus on something really specific. So something that maybe you're not getting in your main course and you want to explore further. We also have a student union, so you could get involved in that and really dictate the, the, the journey the college makes. We have a student parliament where we meet with uh, all of your uh, student representatives once a term and we hear from them about how they think the college is going, what they would like us to change and if we can, we do. So the student voice is really important to us. Any other information you need on our subjects, uh, you can follow us on Instagram. So below we've got the Windsor College photo, we have the arts and fashion and the Windsor College media. They are the best places where you can get a real taster of what goes on inside of our classrooms and the work the students produce. And now any questions? So over to you, anything you want to know at all, and I'm here to answer them. Thanks, Jamie. That was really helpful. I'm, I'm Fiona. I've been um, sitting in the background and I've got lots of questions coming in to um, ask you. So um, I will kick off with um, how many hours a week am I in lessons for? Uh, so you have 13 and a half hours of lesson time. And then you also get a what we call a core studies lesson. Uh, which is so you get assigned a personal tutor and you will go to them once a week as well. And they're the people who will guide you through the university process, etc. Uh, if you have to reset a maths or an English GCSE, that would be an extra four and a half hours a week. The rest of the time then is your own. So we're not like school where you have to be in at nine and you leave at five. Uh, you, we expect you to manage your own time. But in terms of these facilities, we make sure that they are available for you. So many of our students just continue to use the rooms to get their creative work done. Thank you. Um, a couple more. Sorry, one moment. I'm on different screens. Um, do I have to buy my art materials or are they provided? 
Uh, you will have to buy your art materials when you arrive, yes. Uh, so we charge £120, and that provides you with a full art kit. Uh, it also provides you with the, then the top-up materials that you would need throughout the year, and also it provides you with trips to the galleries. So it sort of covers all your expenses for the year. Uh, we do take that in instalments for those who would prefer to pay in instalments, and there is some financial support for those who require it. Great. Um, how many people are there in the classes? Uh, we generally recruit around 20 students per class. So uh, with media, uh, we have 22. And that is one of those classes that we only have enough computers in the class. So once we are full, we are we are full. So it, it's one thing to bear in mind when you are applying um, that that is one of the subjects that is in demand and does fill up. But with regards to the other subjects, there is more flexibility, but we generally range at about 15 to 20. Great, thank you. And are there any sort of cooperative or on the job opportunities available within the fashion programme? Uh, there are, yes. Yeah. So our fashion uh, lecturers, uh, they still have contacts in the industry. And so uh, that is generally local. So they send them to, they've had work experience at uh, some of the fashion uh, the clothing companies up the road but also the interior design companies up the road and then have also made links uh further afield uh so things like uh debenhams and selfridges and things like that um they also bring as many clients in as possible uh so we as many work-related opportunities as possible yes great um, and the same for media creative media it is the same for media. Yeah, we get we bring in a lot of uh, guest speakers and guest workshops. Uh, and then for all of our students, uh, there is a, an assigned week of work experience, which you're introduced to the idea in September when you arrive and it takes you through. So we start to prepare. So you all have to find a work experience placement for the summer term. And that gives you then a full week of actual work experience. Yeah. Great, thank you. Another question around what, what equipment we need. Um, do we have to, for photography, do we have to buy our own cameras? You don't, know. Um, our photography teacher, uh, he is uh, an Olympus ambassador. So if you wanted to buy one, he could probably strike you a good deal, but we are fully equipped with uh, digital cameras, uh, the filming equipment, the sound equipment. So what you'll do is you go to our technician and you just book things out and you just sign out the equipment that you need and then bring it back at the end of the day. Great, thank you. Um, will all the classes be at Windsor or will there be any other campuses? Uh, no, they're all based at Windsor, these subjects, yes. Great. Um, do I have to have studied art at GCSE to be on the level three art course? Um, not necessarily, because um, as I said, so that first uh, term really is sort of an extended induction period. So you'll get introduced to all the processes, all the skills. You get a bit of time to just spend some time in an art studio developing your ideas. Um, what we would say is that if you were to apply and you came for interview, uh, which at the moment we're doing online, uh, it's it's a good idea to maybe show some of the work you have done because I'm guessing if you haven't studied yet at school you're still creating artwork at home and that will be considered too. Obviously it's preferable but not all students do. And do I have to bring a portfolio to my interview? Um, again it'll be based on if you are studying um, GCC art for example uh, obviously we will look at the grades but um, it is always a good idea, yeah, to show us some of the work you do, because then also for some students, they might not necessarily know where they fit. Uh, so they might have photography work, they might have uh, some fashion design work, and they might have some straight artwork. And so if we can see the work that you are producing from there, we might be able to give you the best advice and guidance on the right course for you. Great. Uh, someone's asking a very good point. Um, is there somewhere I can go to read and watch student testimonials who've been at, at the college? You know, we've got quite a few in the course guide. Yeah. We, we've got our promo, Windsor promo video. Yeah. Um, and, and I think there's quite a lot on Instagram, isn't there? There is, yeah. So if you take down, um, so we have student comments, student testimonials on our Instagram pages. 
and you will also, uh, if you look through our um, our YouTube page, the Windsor Forest, Windsor Forest Colleges group, um, you'll see lots of little videos there with testimonials. But actually, I would say Instagram is your best place to see the students working, see what it's like in a class, um, and hear from them directly. Yeah, I think that's something we could do more of getting some more video comments from people. So maybe that's something we'll work on once we're able to this year. We're yeah. stuck previously, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, great. Um, just looking to see any more questions. Um, let me just see. Now, I don't think we've got any new ones coming through. Uh, last shout out if you've got any more questions for Jamie. Um, I've got a question for you. So what is so special about Windsor, especially for art and design? What would you say? Um, I suppose for art and design and media, what's special about Windsor is we've got um, a little creative hub of activity. So you've got the, the art students, the media students and the performing art students all working together, collaborating where they can, having access to all the facilities we have, getting to know all the teachers that we've got. So it really does feel for those guys like a little creative community. So if you, you've got an acting student who needs a headshot, they'll go and speak to the photography students and the photography teacher. Um, you've got a photography student who needs uh, props from the art studio. And so everyone works together. Everyone is here to help. And I would say that's probably the main strength of the college. I'd have to agree with you on that as well, because I feel when you're at, on the campus, you get that sense of there being a kind of vibrant, creative yeah. buzz around the place, don't you? Yeah. Great. So any other questions? Has anybody got anything else they want to ask Jamie? Um, what about the interview timeline? What's the, Do people need to apply now? Uh, you can absolutely apply now and the interview timeline is here. So uh, once you've selected your course uh, and created your account online, um, obviously in normal circumstances, you would come along for an interview, but we will be doing it just on the phone at the moment. OK, but again, you will be speaking to uh, subject teachers. So um, so they will be able to find out exactly what it is you're interested in and help you pick the right courses for you. So if you are a little bit unsure, um, just apply and we can give you the right advice from there. And is there a deadline? Uh, there isn't a deadline, no. Um, the earlier the better, uh, I would say, especially if you are interested in the BTEC media, because that is the one that does tend to fill up first. And obviously we will prioritize uh, the students who have applied and accepted early, but there is no deadline now. Great. Um, yeah, I think that sounds like that's the end of all of our um, questions for today. Um, Jamie, thank you so much for presenting today. That was really, really interesting. Um, for those of you who um, want any further advice, you can jump onto our website every day. Our admissions team are available in on a live chat, so you can chat to people every day if you've got any questions. Um, and uh, if you need to, can can we give out your email, Jamie? Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. I'll just I'll pop pop that into the chat, and that's Jamie. Dot Davis. Dot Davis without any. Uh, with an E. With an E. <laughs> Sorry. At Windsor. Look at that. At Windsor Haven Forest, yeah. I've just popped that in the chat. So any other questions right. that you have for Jamie after today, please feel free to send them through. Yeah. Thanks very much, Jamie. That was Thank great. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I'll see you Bye. soon. Take care.